welcome back. I'm here today to talk to you about the differences between the Wintech GP saddle and the Wintech Wide saddle. I mean, you might just think with wide in the title, what does that mean? It's a bit wider, but there's so many other differences. So today we're going to talk about those differences. We're going to drag in someone from Wintech to talk to us about them. So sit back, make yourselves a cup of tea and hopefully enjoy. and she's from Wintech Saddles and she's going to help me today tell you about the differences. So we all have heard about Wintech Wides and normal Wintech Saddles. So this normal standard one is called the Wintech GP or AP all purpose. And many of us will know that these standard ones go from a narrow to an extra wide fit, whereas the wide ones go from an extra wide to an extra, extra, extra wide. So they're for the really wide types but there's more differences than that. I mean, for example, what happens if you had an extra wide horse? Does it have the standard or does it have the wide? So let's look at the differences in the tree, the panels, and let's pop it on a horse who is in fact an extra wide and see the differences on an actual real life horse's back. First of all, let's talk about the tree. So this tree, the actual tree, who knows what a tree is? A tree is like the skeleton inside the saddle. So the differences in the tree between the saddles are the standard GP4 slash AP has been more of an apex at the front, a little bit more shape at the front, whereas the wide saddle is a little bit flatter headed. This is the head. It's a bit flatter because it's designed for those horses with that flatter profile, a little bit less wither, a little bit of a straighter back. So the tree itself is flatter, whereas the GP tree has a little bit more shape in it. And there's also the panels to consider. What are the panels? The panels are these squishy bits here that sit between the tree and your horse's back. They absorb the shock, they distribute the pressure, they're there to make your saddle more comfortable, but the panels themselves have to fit your horse too. So is there any difference between the actual panels on the saddles as well? Let's go over to Bev, who's gonna to talk to us about the panels. So we're looking at the panels um, on the standard Wintech 500 All Purpose and on the Wintech wide 500 wide all purpose this is the wide this is the standard so you can see here um, the panels on the wide they look almost shorter underneath the saddle and that's because this saddle is designed for those more shorter backed compact shaped horses again we've got a broader weight bearing surface here than on the standard so again if you've got a horse who's broader maybe flatter at the rear of the saddle something that needs a little bit more support I suppose if we just tip it up here we can see the differences again <coughs> That weight bearing surface throughout the length of the saddle is broader than that, of the, than that of the standard. So if you've got a horse that needs more of a weight bearing surface, this would be the saddle. Otherwise it would be the standard. So I'm just noticing Bev, as we're doing this, that my saddle, which is a standard one, versus your one, which is a wide one, I've got a little bit more angle here and you're a little bit flatter here. So that means that this would suit something with slightly more of an A-frame back, whereas yours would suit something a little bit more like a barrel, yeah? Definitely. Yeah, cool. <laughs> so if we just take a look at the front of the saddles together um, to compare, both of these saddles are at the moment fitted with exactly the same width gullet. So they're in an extra wide. So you can see here that this has got more of a kind of curved shape to it, whereas this is more of an apex triangular shape at the front. So again, the shape of your horse at the front of the saddle will dictate which model your saddle fitter will choose. So it's more than just the width, because these are the same width, but the actual shape, like the shape of the wither and the head, again, like Bev was saying, like we sometimes would refer to that as like an upside down U shape, and this is more of an upside down V shape. Does that make sense? A little bit more shape through there, and a little bit more rounded through there. A lot of people talk about the twist of a saddle, which is a bit that goes, mm -hmm by your bits between your legs. The twist of the saddle is the bit that basically the narrowest point just here. And a lot of people worry with the cob saddles that the twist the tip of and a lot of people worry that with the cob saddles the twist is going to be really wide and therefore really bulky between their legs. I I misses. However, if you look at these here, you'll see even on the wide saddle, they do still manage to have a fairly narrow twist, so you don't have that lot of bulk between your legs. One more thing to quickly to mention is that the girth straps. So the girth straps on the wides used to be different than on the standards, whereas now actually they're all the same. So all, all of the models have got the point, normal first, normal third, balance strap. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about when I say point, 
first, third and balance. Then I'll pop a link up there to a video that we did about the different girthing systems on saddles because it's a really interesting thing to know about. So if you click on that link there, it'll give you the option to watch it when you finish watching this video. Now let's get these saddles onto this horse. This is Nobby, he's a nine year old traditional cob and he's 14 one. And this here is the standard GP four slash AP Wintech 500 saddle on him. So when we sit on him, actually it's not too bad on him, but there's a little bit too much shape up front here. The tree is a little bit too angled here at the front and it's not sitting quite so nicely through here. And then when we look at it from behind, Panels themselves are a little bit more angled than his back shape needs. He's got quite a flat back, the panels themselves are quite angled. So whilst it's not the most terrible fit in the world and we could probably put some risers in and make it a little bit better, let's compare it to how the Wintech Wide sits on him. And again, let's not forget they're the same size saddle, they're on the same width gullet, the difference being only the model that they are, the standard versus the wide. Now, before we put that other one on him, I'm just gonna draw a line here where his last rib is. So we can see this here is his last rib, and we can see that this saddle sits under his last rib there, yeah? So when we put the next one on, we'll have a look and we'll see how much shorter that panel is. Because as Bev was saying earlier on, the panels on the wide ones are a little bit more compact because they're designed for these little compact cobs. And the reason that they are shorter is because they're also wider. So we can distribute the weight this way because these cobs have lovely broad ribs. So we can bring the weight distribution out this way without having to go out the back there. So let's pop the other one on. So this here is the Wentec wide saddle on him. Again, the same size, the same width, but what we can see is it's sitting a little bit more comfortably at the front where it hasn't got quite so much shape through the tree. He hasn't got much of a wither. He doesn't need that shape at the front. Also, the panels themselves are sitting on his back much better because they're that flatter panel. So they're not sort of putting pressure down here. They're distributing the pressure much more evenly. Now, do you remember that line we drew here for the last rib? Well, remember the last saddle came up to the last rib, but look at this on the wide version, the panel is so short that we've got all of this room here. The panels are so much shorter, so if he had a really short back, it wouldn't matter because the panel is shorter and it also gives us the opportunity to put a larger rider onto the shorter backed horse because he could go up a size in this one where he could not have gone up a size in the standard GP. Yeah, makes sense. So here's Bev and she's going to tell you why it's really important to get your saddle checked by a saddle fitter because it's all very well me giving you this advice about saddles and saddle fitting and stuff like that but we know, you know, I know, Bev Defo knows that absolutely all of these things should be done by a qualified saddle fitter. Is that not right Bev? Absolutely. That's a really big question to answer actually Poppy Thank you. and yeah that's quite a challenge to answer as a summary for our video. Um, but I think what we've seen here today is that this horse measures as an extra wide. So even if you're able to go and take the gullet gauge yourself and measure your horse and see, oh, he's an extra wide, so I could probably put an extra wide in my saddle and put it on my horse. What we've seen today is actually, you do need the knowledge and expertise of your saddle fitter because they understand a whole lot more than, than we would. That's why we pay them to do the, the job that they do for us. Poppy's identified here that this saddle is much more suitable for this horse here than the standard tree because we've got the better panel, it sits better at the front, the saddle does look overall a lot more comfortable for the horse, which is why you need to get your qualified saddle fitter out to see your horse. And if anyone's wondering how to find their local qualified saddle fitter, you need to go along to www.mastersaddlers.co.uk and at the top of the page there's a thing, there's a little drop down menu, click on saddle fitters, click on your area and the list of all the qualified fitters in your area will spring up on your computer screen. Choose one of them, give them a call and get them to come out and check your saddle. Do you want to say in for the end bit or not? No, no, no I don't. Okay. Thanks a lot. That's all from me. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that was useful to you. I hope you enjoyed learning the differences between a Wintech GP and a Wintech Wide. If you're interested in any more videos, please make sure you check out the other videos in the channel. Don't forget to like this video. Press subscribe if you like, and there's even a little notification bell that you can press so that you're notified the next time a video comes out. In the meantime, take care, stay safe, lots and lots of love. Mm -hmm.